How do you add a YouTube video to your website? YouTube makes embedding a video relatively easy. You do not need to be signed into a Google account, though there's no harm if you are. YouTube and browsers keep changing, and these instructions may change a little too. These instructions are for a computer rather than a tablet or a smartphone. First, find the YouTube page for the video. You'll see the link in the address bar. Next, go to your website editor. We'll use Google Blogger as an example. There is likely an option to insert a video. Here is one right here, insert a video. Click on that. Select the source of the video from YouTube. And let's say the keywords are taxevity, Nixon. Let's use this one. We select it and we are done. This may not look right, but what we can do is a preview and you'll see what the results are actually. Here's the video inside a player. You may want more control. There's another way. This one is more thorough. What we do here is we scroll down until we get to the share option. In share, we can share the, the video directly to social media sites, or we can embed it. Some video creators disable this option. Here is an example where the embedding is disabled. What we want to do on this video is look at more options. You can select the size of the video if you don't want one of the presets. For instance, I often use 500. I press tab and that makes the height the correct number. I generally turn off these options. I don't want other videos showing after this one plays. I don't think that people need to see player controls because they know how to play videos. There is a great big button here for playing the video anyway. I don't see a need to show the title and player actions either. Those can also be gone. Then you have a nice clean look. If you want other choices, you can go here. For instance, you can make a video play automatically. This can be annoying to people, but if you want to do that, then there are some additional instructions there. We've made all the selections we want. We go up here and we select this code. So just click on it, then Control A selects it all, Control C copies it, and then you go to the place that you want to insert the video. Here you need to do something a little different. I'm going to go into HTML and now insert the video. Then go back to the regular Compose mode and you can see the difference here. The video is a larger size. It looks better to me. We'll just go to the preview. You can see the difference. The first video looks like this and the new one looks like this. These days, some websites are responsive and that means that the content reshapes to fit the size of the screen. We've got two videos on this page. The first one is unresponsive and the second is responsive. As we reduce the size of the window, you'll see the bottom video keeps resizing. The top video does not. When your video is responsive, then the code is a little different. Let's just go and edit this page. Again, on your site, the instructions will be different. For an unresponsive video, what happens is we specify the width and the height of the video. For a responsive video, we use a container which contains additional information. This one is saying that the video is responsive, etc. And then here inside the instructions, we don't say what the size of the video is, but we have additional parameters. These instructions will change depending on your website platform.